Hello YouTube, we are out here today to do a review on the CV Life Wolf Covart Red Dot Sight. Uh, let's get this guy unboxed and take a look at what we got here. So, comes in a nice box here. We got an instruction manual. Now, for the record, I've had this open already, so this is not exactly how it'll be packed, but this is the full contents. So, we got an instruction manual, full cover, full color. We got your wrenches. Lens cloth, more wrenches and screws, mounting screws, which is always nice. Then we have an adapter plate, and this is for a Picatinny rail. Then we have the unit itself. Now there is also the unit itself, and there is also a cover that comes with it, which I left upstairs, of course. Uh, more mounting screws. We have a MOS adapter plate for a Glock. It comes with two batteries, which is really nice, one of which is already in the site. And that's basically what you're going to get in the box. Okay, so the unit itself actually is really nice. I really like these uh, fiber optic rear sights here that are impressed into the uh, body of the site. I've never seen that before, and that is a very, very nice feature. See that? Even top-end red dots I haven't seen with this, so I really like that. But we got a screw adjustment, and a screwdriver comes in the kit. So right now, this is mounted on a Galloway Precision Ruger LCP plate. You're going to see a video of it on that pistol as well. And here's the plate. And we're going to try this out on an AR, on a uh, SIG P322 handgun, and on my crossbow. So let me uh, pause this, and we'll get going. Okay, YouTube, so here we are again. Now we have it mounted to uh, a braced AR pistol. And this is a very lightweight, very compact, really handy setup like this. Uh, the riser is a riser I picked up off Amazon. Uh, there's about a million different versions of this. You know, any of them will work. Anything with a Picatinny rail will work. But this is on the uh, factory included mounting plate. And then you're just going to need a Picatinny riser to uh, rise it up to a uh, proper height for an AR. So this is a true co-witness height. So let me see if I can't get this here. You see? And boom. We get a very, very quick, handy site acquisition method here. There we go. Let me see if I can get in there and see the dot. Don't know if I'm going to be able to with my can. There we go. It's right in the middle. So, very handy. And you can see the size of the dot aiming off in the distance here. Very, very handy. So, this is a super quick, handy method. Uh, excellent for rapid target acquisition uh, for on multiple targets. Just a really handy setup for a lightweight carbine or pistol. And it looks really nice on there. So that's that setup. Now we're going to uh, pause here and we'll put it on our crossbow. Stand by. Okay, and here we are. We are back and we are on the crossbow. And as you can see, that is a really slick mounting for the crossbow. Boy, this is about perfect. With the, the dot size that this is, I think the manual said 3 MOA, but looking at it, it might be a 6. So I'll look in the uh, manual again and post on the screen here what size we are. But this is, a crossbow is a relatively short weapon, range weapon. You're going to get about maybe 50 yards, at least at my skill level, out of a crossbow. So this is just absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can't get up here and get the dot. Oh yeah, look at that. That is the perfect deer hunting red dot right there. Look at that. There is no way you're missing that deer. That is beautiful. Boy, I'll tell you, this is probably where I'm going to keep this thing. This uh, covert wolf on my uh, crossbow. And this is going to be my archery hunting setup. Because, boy, I'll tell you, that is just perfect. That is a perfect optic and a perfect fit on there. So... Very cool. 
Okay, we have one more gun to show this on, and then we are going to do some shooting. So stand by. Now, on this particular mount, this is a dovetail mount. So this is mounted higher, so you are not going to be able to co-witness your front sight unless you have suppressor height front sight, which I don't think anybody even sells for this particular gun. We're going to try this on a SIG P322 next, and we'll see how that looks. But... For right now, we got it on here, and I could tell you that when I present, that is an excellent sight picture. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the dot in here on the camera. There we go. There's our dot. You can see that's a nice big dot. Very easy to see. So, when I present the dot, just drawing it and presenting it out, I don't really have much problem. Picking the dot up, but this is a dovetail mount, and this type of mount is suboptimal for carry. What you're going to want is a milled slide mount with this, where it drops down lower so you can co-witness your front sight. And the next gun that you see in this video that we will mount this to, you will see that that setup in play. Okay, and here we are installed on our Sig Sauer P322 handgun. 22 caliber rimfire. Very, very, very accurate long-range handgun. But you can see with this setup, this is where these rear fiber optic sights are beautiful. You can see that you can co-witness with the front sight. You know that? Perfect. Where are we at here? Keep in mind, I'm trying to manipulate a camera and do all this at the same time. There we go. There's our dot. You see the dot is right on the front sight. And if your dot goes out, it's got rear sight built right into it for you to co-witness from. So this is perfect. So And it looks really nice on there. Very slick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go do some shooting now. Stand by. Okay, here we are back. We're going to do some shooting with the uh, Big PC-22. We are at a range of 30 yards here. I'm going to be shooting the plate on the left. That's an 8-inch plate, steel plate. Okay, so here we are with our SIG P322. We are going to be shooting... These plates down here on the left, we have an 8-inch spinner. In the center, we have a bowling pin. And on the uh, right, we have a 6-inch. So we're going to hit them back and forth. And make sure we're zeroed. But I can already, the beauty of this sight is you got the rear sights to co-witness. So you just line up your, your normal iron sights, put the dot right on top of the sight, and you're zeroed without even shooting. But we're going to verify the zero here. Okay, here we go. Okay, folks, so we saw this mounted on a Ruger LCP Max pocket pistol, a SIG P322 uh, 22 rimfire pistol, and we saw many hits at 30 yards, multiple targets, and at 100 yards, offhand standing. Okay, YouTube, we have our uh, CV Life red dot mounted to the SIG 322. And if you look down there, Past that boat on the other side of the lake over there, just to the right, there is a uh, three-quarter scale silhouette steel target. Now that target is on there with two posts, not one, so instead of ringing, it makes a clicking sound, or like a tick, tick when it gets hit. So we are going to shoot from 100 yards offhand with the SIG 322 at 100 yards, and let's see if we can get some hits. We're using Remington Golden Bullets. Alright, well, we're definitely scoring some hits. 
offhand standing with a handgun using the cheapest 22 ammo money can buy. We saw it on the crossbow and we saw it on a fancy AR. So this is what we could see here is this is a very lightweight, compact, versatile and handy red dot sight. It has excellent controls. The uh, brightness are on the sides. Um, but there's a lot of other optics that do not have this good of a setup for the control. So it's actually really well set up. I love the fiber optic co-witness. It makes it super fast and easy to find your dot. One other thing I really like about, about this, while it is a bottom feed battery, but it is at least a 2032 battery. So you're going to get significantly more battery life. Whereas some other types of red dots like the Sig Romeo Elite, not only is that a bottom feed, but it has uh, a 1632 battery, which has much less battery life. And that also has, for some reason, they have the brightness adjustment right in the, in the center of the site, which is really suboptimal. So, you know, this thing has some outstanding features. I mean, really, I can't complain about it. And there's really just one more thing to do to this guy, and that's to see... Will this take a hit? Will this take a bounce? Will this take a bang? How durable is it? Can it withstand some abuse? Well, let's find out. There's our dot. Still on. We can see that through the camera. There she goes. Let me turn up the brightness so it's a bit easier to see. And you can see how easy it is to adjust the brightness. And there's our dot. And gave her another roll. Now this gun is unloaded, just so you all know. There's our dot. And one more for good measure. Now we're landing them right on rocks here, folks. This is not an easy little soft surface that we're landing on. And look at that. Our dot is still there. Even Santa could guide his sleigh with this sucker. I hope you all can see that in there, but the dot is on. There she goes. And you can see all the scuff marks on the optic. So now let's wipe this. And no scratches. Nice finish. Okay, let's put a few more rounds in this and make sure we didn't lose our zero. And then we're going to end the test. Okay, folks, we're out here at 20 yards. We just got done our drop test, throwing this uh, CV Life Wolf Covart red dot around. Let's try one-handed multiple targets here. Let's see if we're still zero. There we go. Off to the left a little bit there. There we go. So yeah, here we're gonna aim the bottom spinner. Oh, we're out of bullets. Definitely still zeroed. You know, I missed a few shots there because I'm shooting one-handed while holding a camera. So that is not on the sight, that was on me. As you could see, hit all three targets, no problem. Range of 20 yards. After throwing this guy under the rocks three times. So I am definitely going to say this is good to go. I'm an ex-infantryman. I'm an ex-private investigator. I got to say, for hunting, for home defense, for plinking, for having fun, this definitely gets the thumbs up for me. And in about, I'm going to keep this on this gun. In about three months, I'll post another video, a follow-up, and let you know how it holds up over time. And at that time, I'll give my opinion on whether or not I think it could be uh, concealed carry ready. I mean... You know, most people are never going to throw their concealed carry head gun under the rocks three times. So odds are this is probably good to go for that. But I'm going to do a follow up and we'll just, you know, to make sure there's a product code and a discount code in the description. So go ahead and click on that if you're interested in this. This is a very, very reasonably priced site. And I think if you get this, you will be very happy. So deer season is over here now, but. I'm going to keep it on this handgun for the next three months because I shoot this one by far the most, 22 being inexpensive. And uh, I'll put a bunch, a whole bunch of rounds through this, make sure it holds up. 
and then it's going on my crossbow for deer hunting next year. So very, very happy with this. I, I got to say, very impressed. I can't imagine that a red dot in this price range could have done any better than this one did. So that is the CV Life Wolf Covert Red Dot. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Freedom by me.